Is this the F-Stop Lounge? Yeah, this is the F-Stop Lounge, yeah. Oh, shit, sorry, I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> right, ready, hang on, let me start again. G'day guys, Lead It Pros here with the wonderful Warwick Williams. He is the man when it comes to cameras. And we're both here for F-Stop Lounge. And today we have something very exciting. What is it was that we've got today? We've got the fabulous new and yet to be released XE2. Ooh! XE2. It's, it's, Tell it's, me about it. It is the XE2. You know what? If you had to sum it up, I guess, what would you get if you crossed an XE1 with the incredibly popular X100S? Say that again. What would happen if you crossed the XE1? Yes, which is that one. Perfect. With the very popular. X100S. What would happen? Would you get the XE2? Would that be you right? get a camera that wouldn't fit in this case, probably. No. You'd, <laughs> okay. Okay. you'd actually get the XE2. And what sort of features do you have on that that you don't get on the XE1? Because a lot of people... Well, you still get the absolutely fabulous X-Trans CMOS sensor, but in this camera you get the X-Trans CMOS 2, which of course incorporates the fabulous phase detection system for its focus. So its focus is a hell of a lot faster. Does it still use contrast detection as well it, as phase? It will, if in particularly low light, yeah. if it needs to, it'll switch back automatically. But what I've found is the phase detection system on here works in quite low light as it is. And it's only when it gets pretty extreme, it will switch back to your contrast detection. Great. And still takes all the XF lenses that you get? <sighs> Absolutely. So what sort of lenses can people see for, like, say, for a landscape? If, if they're interested and they've got an XE1 and they're sort of into landscape, sorry, where, where can they go? Well, you can basically start out even with the 14mm lens, which Ooh. is absolutely staggering. Yeah. Optically perfect, no distortion, whether you're shooting landscape or even architecture. It's, it's a great lens. I've even seen people use it, I know it sounds great, for portrait photography, and it, well, it works. Really? Yeah. Okay, cool. It's amazing. Does it have an onboard flash as well, or could I, can you add other accessories? You've got the onboard flash, the little pop-up flash, but this has picked up the technology introduced by the XM1 and XA1, so yep. it has the super intelligent flash, except of course I just realised the XM1 doesn't have the super intelligent flash. Really? What do you mean? Oh, yes it does! <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, I, I was going to say, mate, you've been working too hard. <laughs> He's from SLR Park, which is a little bit ancient, but I'm sure we can work with it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> so so if, when someone goes out and buys an XE2, just explain to them what they're actually getting in oh, the kit. Well, the best thing is they're getting the lens modulation optimizer. What the hell is that? <laughs> it's obvious, isn't it? The lens modulation optimizer, the LMO. The LMO. Remember the LMO. LMO for those people that are a bit it's older. It's very simple. Mm. Yeah. It, yeah. Uh, it, it modulates light waves to optimize the lens. That's the same as the X20 and X100S, just so it, you it's, know. It's actually... Yeah. When it came out in the X100S, it was a world first, and it's an absolutely fantastic device. It actually cleans up diffraction yep. uh, in the camera, and it actually does it so well that even if you shoot RAW, you won't be able to duplicate what this can do if you spend a, an hour on a photo. Because this actually knows everything about the camera and the lens, yep. and it's able to clean up all that diffraction to give you what's essentially a perfect picture. But it does it without altering the perfect optical data that's already there. It only cleans up the error. So like Photoshop? No, not exactly like Photoshop because Photoshop, whatever you do is going to affect the whole picture or even whatever area you happen to have masked. Yeah. But this actually only affects the degraded optical data. Okay. Perfect optical data is yeah. obtained intact and untouched. That sounds pretty incredible. And that is very incredible. Yeah. So when can I get one? Well. They're available now, right? When is this going to air? <laughs> <laughs> They're not available at the moment. <laughs> but you will, but, you will be able yeah. to get them. And um, there's some other features on here, yeah. like the, the big screen. Okay. It, uh, it's a 3 to 2 ratio screen. So not only is it, is it a bit bigger than the previous model, yep. but... Being 3 to 2 ratio, you're actually getting a much greater surface area that you can use with your camera. Yeah, okay, cool. The buttons on the back are programmable too, so you're actually able to program different uses for some of the so buttons. So you've got a couple of extra yeah, buttons. Yeah, you've got your, your function, two function buttons So the now. top. So yeah, the, the top one's top the same. The top one's the same, yep, yeah. yep. 
but you've also got another function button and okay. you can also select different uses for your AF button and things like that. Right, cool. cool. Uh, and they've actually changed where the quick menu is located, I know. Yes, so, that, yeah. that's, that's up here. Uh, so that's actually meant... That means that you, you're going to be selecting your viewfinder options from the menu yeah. rather than the push button. And something else I've noticed as well, when on the XE one, which I'm holding, you've got your uh, exposure compensation, yes. which is um, minus or minus two, plus, plus minus. two. Yeah. yeah. Whereas this and one's this, got the extra stop yeah. either side. So, so plus and minus up to three. Yeah, which is a lot more variable. And they've added more torque to the button as well, yes. from what I yeah, understand. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit uh, harder to bump it accidentally. Sweet. Cool. So, well, I hope you learned something from... Well, can I say one yeah, other yeah, thing? Yeah, tell me, tell me. How many times have I asked for this feature? Yeah. You've got Wi-Fi. What? 